you just like explain what you were doing this morning then? So we're running through uh, some prehabilitation stuff for the, the first team. Um, so we do this now on a Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we run the same sort of kind of programme for about four weeks and then we'll change it up and um, add in some different exercises and stuff like that. The reason for this is, you know, obviously trying to prevent injury rather than, you know, when something happens then looking at the strengthening process and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, rather than that, trying to do it before so that the boys are kind of strengthening different areas, whether it be their proprioception, their, their feet and stuff like that, or their balance and, um, you know, just kind of general strength before they go to training. So it's not very taxing, but, you know, I think it's quite important to get it in. Yeah, so is it just sort of short bursts and short little bits of training then? Yeah, it's, it's actually, you know, as I say, there's, there's very little intensity in it at all. Um, it might just be some, some work with TheraBand or it might be some kind of hopping and, and things like that. And, you know, just kind of holding and uh, concentrating on their balance and the kind of movement of different areas, whether it's their ankles or their knees and stuff like that. Um, so as I say, it's, you know, it's very light intensity, but it's, it's important in the long run. Yeah, and speaking to Peter, he says he does this stuff most, most days. Is this expected from the players every morning or is it up to them to, to take it on themselves? No, with sessions like this, it is, you know, um, you know it's, it's for everyone, you know, they do it as a group. Um, so it's set out the kind of first team squad that will be training, they come in. Um, so it could be anything between kind of 16 and, and 22 players. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of you know, a, a routine that they've got to do every Tuesday and Thursday now. Um, out with that, there will be players like, you know, Pete was probably saying that he, he'll do more specific stuff for him, so it might be, you know, he might have previous ankle injuries or, you know, uh, knee surgery and all that kind of stuff, so um, they might do more specific um, to their injuries or their kind of, you know, weaknesses that they have, um, but this is more kind of generalised where, you know, it's covering a lot of different areas. Yeah, would you say this sort of rehabilitation work is important for any athlete, and not just in football, but in any sport then? Yeah, absolutely, you know, you know, get into, you know, any sort of movement in sport and stuff like that. Um, whether it's a team sport or individual, um, it's you know you've got to concentrate on the different movements of your body, you know uh, movement parts and stuff like that. Plus the strength in different areas, um, you know as we spoke about kind of ankle strength, like your kind of proprioception, your balance, um, your core and stuff like that, which is all important in, in kind of any aspect of sport or um, fitness really. So yeah, I, I would definitely promote it to you know any sort of athlete that's um, you know looking to kind of gain any sort of progression in their the, the sport, but I'm pretty sure, um, you know, in most sports there is some form of it in, in there. Yeah, I know we were speaking before about there wasn't really much gym work when you when you started. Do you think this sort of work is making boys less injured or more fit now compared to maybe when you started? Yeah, absolutely, because you know um, this aspect of it has changed massively since since obviously I started in football, which obviously being about 20 years ago, you know, it was quite a, a long time ago. Um, but there is a, a big aspect on not only this, but the kind of strength and condition side, where, you know, it used to be seen as kind of two different parts, where you would do the football side or you would do the kind of gym side, where, you know, there's a lot of stuff shown now that, you know, the two, you know, correlate with each other massively um, in terms of, you know, strength and power and stuff like that, how you can take that on the football field, and then stuff like the prehabilitation, you know, how... You know, if somebody kind of, you know, if you take a bad tackle or, you know, just your balance might be offset when somebody does kind of run into you or, or, you know, set you off balance, then uh, then you're strong enough to, to withstand that. Yeah, and I know the gym here is pretty new as well, so is has this changed since you've been at the club as well? Yeah, well, I've been here four years now and this was just finished uh, at the end of last season, so the boys had the benefit of uh, the summer um, and then through pre-season and stuff like that, so it's, it's definitely making uh, big changes to them.